We have now learned quite a bit about blueprints and visual scripting. However, we have not yet looked at how to get blueprints to communicate between each other. There are a few ways we can achieve this. Interblueprintal function calling, which is kind of a little bit easier to set up, but it's much more closed. It has to be everything has to be pre-programmed in. Or there is uh, blueprint interfaces, which are very much open and pretty easy to set up as well. But just a little more, a little bit more complex, but much more open. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get two blueprints. One's going to be called trigger, and one is going to be called a uh, I'll just call it switch light save. I'm also just going to create a simple material if I can. Right, click place. Right, material. We're going to call it blue trans. This is just so I can see. Uh, we're going to use a collision, so I just want to be able to see it. So, I'm going to make a blue colored thing to put on there. To put it on. And we're going to make it uh, transparent, translucent as well. And we're going to make it half translucent or half opaque. Open to save. Okay, now we're going to start on that, and I'm going to open up our new blueprints. Looks like. And now in our trigger, I'm going to add a root, and then a cube. I'm going to call it collision. I'm going to make the material our blue trans. So now it's just semi visible and I'm going to our uh, switch light and I'm going to add a root which of course you don't need to do but I like to have roots in our in my blueprints then I'm going to add a uh, point light light on set now first thing I'm going to do is a little of this I'm going to make it so that I'm going to create a custom event I'm going to call it switch and then when this is called, I want the light to change visible. So I'm going to get visible. And I'm going to get a not node, which means that it's the opposite of whatever this boolean. So if this is true, then this will be false. And then I'm going to set visibility of the light as the not node. I'm going to a trigger and the event graph, delete all this. We're gonna get uh, event uh, overlap. We're gonna overlap. We're gonna make it so that when we have to make sure that it's player first, so pass to player. But if the player walks into the collision, which we just have to first make, make sure it's an overlap all dynamic. If it if it collides with the player by the player walking through it, then we want to uh, turn our light off and on. So what we want to do is we want to add a new variable called target VP and we want to make this type actor. Then we want to make it visible in editor and we're going to drag it out here. And we're going to call the event switch. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we have to pass it switch light first. So. Um, and then we want to get the uh, switch. So now it will happen. Yeah, just save everything. Now you can see there are some obvious drawbacks with this uh, with this setup because it means you have to cast directly to the uh, blueprint. So we'll look at how to make this more open later. So we just go to our star map and we drag in our trigger. I'm just going to scale up a bit, which you of course could do in, in the actual components part of the blueprint, but I'm just going to do it in the scene because I can't be bothered. And then I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And then we drag out a switch light, and I'm just going to pull it out of the wall. Then we select this and choose our switch light. You can also do it by clicking on this and choosing a switch light, but yep. Um, then if we save it and then play, 
you can see that when we walk into it then the light turns off and if we walk into it again then the light turns back on the thing about this is like I pointed out just before it's very very closed you have to have everything blueprinted in um, straight away like you, you have to directly do everything so let's change this a bit let's just uh, delete all of this one second go back into our switch light and we're going to use this stuff all this stuff we're going to get rid of this custom event and put that one set so we're going to do go back into the start map uh, into our uh, editor and we're going to go add new and we're going to go add a new blueprint interface we're going to call this interface interact we'll save it and then we're going to open it up and so this is Blueprint interfaces are ways of uh, dynamically, in the sense of without directly programming everything in, being able to call different things between blueprints. Basically, so I'm just gonna uh, rename this function to interact, and I'll just leave it like that. Compile and save, and then in our switch light, if you go, they change this a little bit recently so I'm not quite sure where it is anymore but somewhere here class settings here it is um, if you're in a previous version then there it will be it won't be here it will be somewhere else but class settings will be called like interfaces and all. anyway down here you can see interfaces so we can add and I'm gonna add our interface interact so now we've got interface I selected and there is one problem with this and there's it appears to be a glitch or an error in the programming of Unit on version 4, but what we have to do is go back into the interface. You actually have to add a dummy input and output uh, on this. You don't have to use them, you just have to add them, otherwise it doesn't come up in the blueprints. But now you can see we have the uh, interact here. We open this up, it's a function. Uh, again, you don't have to use these things. Um, they, they can be useful sometimes. Uh, and we get our event graph and we just control X to cut and then we paste it in here and you must always connect it to a return node otherwise the function won't work properly and we'll tell you now if we go into our trigger and instead of this we get our target blueprint and instead we call uh, interface so you can see here, uh, you can also check if it first implements it. So we're going to do that just because we can. Uh, it's not a function, uh, not an event there. So we just uh, choose interface, so interact. Here it is. So if it implements it, then we want to branch. You don't have to do this. It won't give you an error if it doesn't implement it. But this just can be useful sometimes because you can, for debugging and such. If it does implement uh, interface, then we want to, on it, get interface interact so you can see this will call this interact on the interface and you don't have to worry about these remember these are just um errors in in unknown before so we can and save and save everything and again uh, you know this is still the same so we haven't had to change the, the so everything is still set up and if we press play and we walk into the into the trigger again you can see that it, it still works just like it did before it turns off and on we don't have to pre uh, pre do anything. This is all here. So what we can do, we can add a different thing that uses the same thing. So maybe we add a add a new blueprint. Like uh, maybe it it makes something have physics or not. Right. So we'll go physics interact, physics interact, and we'll add a root because I want to add a root, and we'll add a uh, cube. I think this will work. Yeah. So, so you have similar physics. So currently it's unchecked. So we'll leave everything like it is right now. But uh, currently it's unchecked. So we'll compile and save it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it. Uh, we're going to implement the interface into it. So add interface interact. Compile and save. Go back into my blueprint. Now we have it again. So now in this this one, if it lets me drag it away. In this one instead of having it uh, enable or disable 
the light, what we're going to do is we're going to have it enable physics on our cube. So we're just going to get our cube and we're going to go uh, physics. Uh, set simulate physics, it's here somewhere. Set simulate physics, there it is. And now we're just going to turn it on. Try and save it. And now we can drag out this physics interact. I'll have it in the air so it'll actually fall if we enable physics. So let's put it. Uh, oops, let's put it not miles away. Let's just reset its position. We put it over here, right? And we'll get our uh, the blueprint, our trigger blueprint, and we'll change it to this instead. Now, oh, let's change the particle effect. This. <sighs> See, it's annoying sometimes with particles. There we go, now it's on our physics interact. Uh, so now, uh, what will happen is when we walk in here, if we save it, and uh, we walk into the trigger, you can see that the physics get enabled and it, the box falls. In our trigger, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have to do anything in our trigger. We just added a new blueprint, we had it uh, use the interface, and it, uh, it all works. So, I hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about UE4, then please join me next time.